Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create an Apple ID, okay? This is uh, for to download apps on your App Store, okay? And this is the way to do it without a credit card. Don't worry, you don't need a credit card. And um, this is the way to do it. So just go into apple.com and from there I want you guys to download iTunes. Now that's available for Windows and Mac. So Macs usually already have iTunes. Windows users, just download it. It's free. Don't worry about it. Pretty easy to download. No problems there okay so once you have it downloaded okay this free program just go right into it and right here on this tab you guys will see all this just going to apps and then up here you guys will see this it says app, app store okay so just click on app store let me just zoom in here because I know some people were complaining about that so right here going to apps okay then if you move right up here you guys will see app store click there doesn't matter if you have iPhone iPad iPod touch it's the same thing okay so at this point we need to download a free app so let's just go right here and you guys see on the side it says top free apps uh, it's just easier to download from there so that's why I'm saying to go there and then just press get so before doing that just in case if you already signed into another account just make sure to sign up once you guys press get so that's right here if you scroll over you guys will see get. Um, I'm gonna do Pokemon. Let's press get. It's gonna tell us to put in our Apple ID. However, we don't have one, right? So what we need to do is create a new Apple ID. And it's gonna take us somewhere. So right here. So let's create one. Um, just in case you guys do need right here an account. Okay, so you guys do need a hotmail gmail something some type of email in order to create this account so uh, it's usually to have also a backup email that you have but uh, anyways for now we just need that so just press agree next email so in this case we're gonna put in my email um, for those of you who need an iTunes account don't use my email if um, you guys use my email and I change my password then you're locked out, so there's no reason to use this. You can if you want to, don't recommend it, because you will get locked out, kicked out. Um, so my password... And there we go. So right now it's asking us for payment type, right? And guess what? None. We can pick none. That's, that's the best thing that we can do. Also, we can see if the billing address of your payment information is not in Canada, click here. So, if you want another country, such as not Canada, just make sure you're in the right country, so I'm not in the right country. So let's make sure we choose the right one. So what we want is US. Okay, so once you're done filling out all your information, just click on Create Apple ID. And that should be it. That's how easy it is. Get an Apple ID without a credit card. And um, if you're trying to do it from your iDevice, so if you have an iPad, iPad, iPad Touch, you can't. Sorry, you have to do it this way in order not to use a credit card, or else, yeah. I mean, you could do it, but it's very difficult. It's the easy way. And um, they will send you a verification email. So I see there's an extra dot here. That's not good. But there we go. So I got my email. And here's my confirmation email. So make sure to go into your email. Like I said, you guys need an email. It can't be a made up email. You guys need that email. And then just click on verify now. And then just put in your password. I think. And we're gonna save that password. Done. And cool, we are done. So make sure to remember <laughs> your Apple ID. If you forget your password ever, you guys can reset it, okay, by answering the questions and with your rescue email. That helps a lot because I know a lot of people forget all the answers they put in there. So just make sure to have that rescue email, and you guys can add more stuff. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down below in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.